And it's you. G'day guys, my name is Damien Lou Chevelle. I make music and vlog and skip videos on my YouTube channel. You don't care. It's okay. We all here we're all here for the group cake. Cakes my chopper, please make me a dancing group cake from Guardians of the Galaxy. Because of that little baby cute Groot thing, tree thing coming out of the ground. It's not from a ground, it's from a pop plate, but it's really cute and it sings to Michael Jackson and we like some Michael Jackson world, so <laughs> Thanks for that, Damie. Here's your dancing baby Groot cake from Guardians of the Galaxy. Guys, please check out Damie's links. They're all in the description. What you're gonna need for this cake is two blocks of chocolate, some vanilla fondant, some chocolate fondant, black fondant, a balloon stick and mount, an empty M&M's party bucket, and the cake of your choice. Also, some chocolate biscuits, which I didn't photograph. You're gonna start by melting the first block of chocolate, coating the inside of the party bucket. I just poured it around and let it move, then used some ice to set it a little bit and then poured the rest in of the first block and let that set over the top. Once that's done, you can glue in your mount for the balloon stick, making sure it's in the center, then pour in the rest of the chocolate. Once you've got that all around the edges nice and smooth, I just had to keep twisting this until it thickened up and then evened it out, popped it in the freezer and it took about 15 minutes to set. I used a scalpel then to take off the bottom of the cup, or the bucket, and then cut the sides away and popped it out with my thumbs and it came out easy and as you can see it looks like a pot plant so it's great. I stuck it down to the plate that I was serving it on with some buttercream. Cut the bottom of the bucket off, I kept it to measure out the cake so when I cut it, it would go inside this little pot plant. At the bottom I put some lemon curd and cream cake filling and then I put the cake in, then put some filling of the same thing on top and then put the second layer of cake in just smushing that down so it was nice and tight. Now I measured off where Groot would start in the cake and I just put a little mark on the stick. Then I started to marble the fondant, which is your vanilla and chocolate. And then I twisted it and then basically got this log effect that I pushed onto the balloon stick and molded it where I needed it. Cut it off any excess because I needed to leave a little bit of stick for his head to poke into. And then I measured out how big I would want his head rolled that into an oval, then with one of the ends just started hacking at it with the scissors, making it look like a sprouting mangrovey kind of plant look. And then it's just a matter of fidgeting with it and looking at your reference picture to get the shape of his head. Cut in the mouth, which is quite a happy little mouth, and then give him two big black fondant eyes. You want them nice and round so they look cute like a baby. Tweak his hair until you're happy with it and make sure he's got nice puffy round cheeks. Then I used a skewer that I'd cut in half, wrapped more of the marbled chocolate and vanilla fondant around, and then I rolled out some very thin vine-like details and then just wrapped them around to give him that sort of tree sprouting growing look. Then I used the scissors to cut in some fingers. Here you can see I rolled out another very thin snake to do the same vine effect on his body, which it's up to you how you do this. I went with it until I was happy with the look. And then I got some chocolate biscuits, smashed them up, then made sure it was a like nice dirt sort of texture. Then it's time to put the balloon stick in, pipe on some more of the lemon cream, put the biscuits on top for the dirt. Now I'm sorry I filmed this out of frame, but pop on his arms and his head, and there you go, you have your dancing baby Groot cake. I hope you guys enjoyed this cake. I certainly had a lot of fun making it. Big thanks to Damie for requesting the video. If you want to see more of Damie, just click the annotation above. She's amazing, she's crazy talented, and a good laugh, and a great mate. So go check her out, tell her Chopper sent you, give her lots of love, or why not click one of my other videos. Thanks so much for watching guys, I'll catch you next time.